Greetings, Earthlings. The time is 10.01 a.m. The temperature is a balmy 92 degrees, and the place, of course, is the desert. Headed south to explore some of the cities of Imperial County. I basically made a list of all of the cities in Imperial County, and then, of course, I immediately disqualified the uh, largest bunch We'll be visiting five cities today, starting out in Sealy, California. That would be just west of El Centro. The first of three cities in the El Centro area. Um, headed east from there to Heber, and east from there to the carrot capital of the world, Holdville, California. From there we will head further north, back towards the Salton Sea, and visit the last two cities of the day, Westmoreland and Nyland. See ya in Sealy. We made it. Welcome to Sealy, California. Seven, but it is, it is get pretty sketchy out there. Off to Heber, we shall go. Well, we made it. Welcome to Heber, California.
Thank you. That's it for Heber, wonderful city. Moving things right along to our third stop, <clears throat> the care capital of the world, as I believe I mentioned previously. Uh, it's getting warmer now, 102. Feeling pretty good. Welcome to the city of Holtville. Why, thank you very much. Glad to be here. We made it. Holtville, California. Holtville is in the eastern part of the county on a direct route from the east coast to the Pacific. In Holtville, the visitor will find a variety of sites and activities typical of the friendly spirit of a small imperial county city. Dine on good food, especially sizzling steaks from famed Imperial Valley beef, or you may just relax in the quiet of a downtown city park where picnic tables and artisan well water are available free. Heading out of Holtville on the way to Westmoreland. Sketchy level is very low. Uh, although I did come across a burned up rail car in an empty parking lot or empty lot. So yeah, that's about as sketchy as it gets, but it's overall pretty nice. But onward and upward, Holtville's in the past. Westmoreland is in the future. Let's do it. Yo, I'm up here in Westmoreland. Where you at? Hit me back. Western gateway to the rich Imperial Valley. Here, eons ago, flowed a mighty ocean, fantastically rich in minerals. When it dried, it left behind a deposit of nature's fertility unmatched anywhere else in the world. Today, 
Westmoreland sits directly atop that bountiful soil, surrounded by miles of lush fields of winter garden crops such as beets, lettuce, alfalfa, barley, watermelon, cantaloupe, and flax, and endless acres of green pastures which feed thousands of sheep and cattle. At the south entrance to the famed Salton Sea, Westmoreland offers easy access to the sea's western shoreline. Hunting grounds for duck, dove, quail, and pheasant abound. The sea provides some of the finest fishing in the west. I'm not sure what's more unlikely, the fact that you made it this far or the fact that I made it this far. Last stop, folks, Nyland. Yeah, that's a pretty mean one right there. Yeah, that's actually, they are, they're the mean ones. <laughs> yeah, I heard them buzzing. I was looking around. Where's that coming from? Island, Imperial Valley's Northern Gateway, lies across Highway 111, only a short distance from fast developing Salton Sea's rapidly expanding recreational facilities and real estate developments. At the heart of the winter grown vegetable area, Nyland is the freight terminal for enormous shipments of produce destined for all major American markets. To celebrate this enormous production of winter grown produce, Nyland's Tomato Festival in March crowns the Valley's spring celebrations. Nyland is in the midst of a gigantic recreation and agricultural area. It is also near the steam well developments and an industrial boom is in the offing. Not sure if anybody's in that truck. <sighs> Fuck, I gotta find out. That's all she wrote, folks. Five cities, Sealy, Heber, Holtville, Westmoreland, and here. Nyland, 25 miles, hundreds of miles behind the wheel, hours in the saddle. It's time to wrap it up. There's more desert waiting tomorrow. I'll be back. 
Thanks for sticking around.